Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to create a site-to-site -site VPN in Azure using PowerShell. So our first step is to retrieve the details on our existing virtual network. I have a virtual network created called SNP VNet and within that I have a subnet called Frontend and within that subnet I've got a VM running and this is the VM we'll connect to when we have the VPN gateway up and running and connected to the on-premise VPN device. So the next step is we need to create a special subnet called the gateway subnet. You must also keep the name of this to gateway subnet otherwise it won't work. So this is a small network uh, just with a few IP addresses in it for used for managing the VPN. Then we use set Azure RM virtual network to save that configuration. So next, we need to request a public IP address. So this will be used for your on-premise VPN device to connect into the Azure VPN gateway. So now we need to create the gateway IP configuration. So we'll again, we'll retrieve the details on our virtual network and our subnet first. Then in this command, we're basically assigning the subnet ID and the public address to the virtual network gateway config. So the next step, uh, which can take quite a bit of time for Azure to spin it up, is actually creating the virtual network gateway. Um, you'll see with the parameter IP configurations, we're passing in the IP config we did in the previous step, and we're selecting a gateway type of the VPN type. It's root-based, you can have policy-based as well, and we're selecting a basic VPN. So a basic VPN is probably around about $20, $30 a month. And you can get speeds of up to 100 megabits on the basics. OK, so now that's finished, we'll move on to create the local network gateway. This is essentially setting up the configuration for your on-premise device or wherever that device may be located. So we're going to call it Site1. Um, and in here, we need to specify our gateway IP address. So that's our on-premise public IP. And then the address prefix. So this contains two subnets that I want to be accessible from Azure. So we'll just run this command. So now that's completed successfully, we shall move on to actually establishing a connection. So our on-premise device is a Windows 2016 server with routing and remote access installed. And we'll switch over to that once we've established a connection using PowerShell. We'll first retrieve all the configuration work that we've done. And then we'll pass that into Azure RM Virtual Network Gateway Connection. So you need to pay attention here to the, the shared key parameter. That shared key, you will need that to enter into your on-premise device. And this is going to be an IPsec. So we'll just run this command now. So you'll now see that we are connected. So we'll switch over to the, the VM on premise and check this connection. So the first thing we have to do is take our public IP address in Azure and paste that to our connection property. We also need to copy and paste our authentication key in, our shared key. That has been done already. So we have an Azure S2S interface defined within routing and remote access. So we right click and refresh this connection. Uh, click on connect. Just refresh that and as you can see, we are now connected to the VPN. So we have a VM up and running in Azure, so we'll try and ping that. And we're getting a reply. So we can now try uh, using RDP to connect to that VM. So here you see we've got a Windows 2012 VM. So we'll open up PowerShell prompt in here and we'll try and ping our on-premise network now. And there we have it replied. 
Thank you for watching this video.